Hey everyone, welcome to another video here at the Shire, or the map known as New Woodshire. Um, in my last video, I finished moving all of the round hay bales um, from the field across the road. And uh, just a first cutting um, and kind of a sloppy job <laughs> mowing, but uh, so I'm just going to unload them and maybe stack them, but I would like to um, plant while there's still daylight. Um, so I might save that for later. Um, but I'm just going to jump in here and go retrieve the baler, and uh, so that's not sitting out by the road. So I think this is going to be my last day here on this farm, and I'm rotating between multiple farms now. Um, <laughs> we've got uh, the California farm, which is my original, uh, spent the most time there. And then um, the uh, farm in Europe, the Felsbrunn farm, and recently the Wisconsin farm, and now here the Woods Woodshire, what I'm calling the Shire. Um, so yeah, just uh, springtime, rotating between different farms, different things, different equipment, just keep things interesting. So yeah, as you can see, I, uh, I have left quite a bit of, I have left quite a bit of grass out here. This would probably make one or two or more bales if I wanted to do that. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, what is the weather going to be like? Cloudy, chance of rain. What is today? Today is. Oh, okay, Tuesday, Wednesday. So just cloudy. Uh, this probably could make a bale. Like I said, this is first cutting, so I'm not terribly concerned with, you know, collecting all this. I just want to fertilize this field and let it, uh, let it have some time to regrow again. Um, this is a lot of material down here. But once I start baling, I have to make a full bale. <laughs> That's the only thing. I can't make a mini bale. Not with this baler, anyway. I'll save it for later. Yeah, because... Actually, planting would be. Oops! Ah, man, it's it's doing that weird thing again. Some kind of mod conflict that makes me allows me to throw vehicles, which is incredibly annoying. <laughs> Attach. Oops. Nope. Oh, come on. Nope. <laughs> One or the other. Come on. There we go. <laughs> That's uh, goofy mods. Okay. No, I don't want to throw the tractor. Just watching the help menu there. That's why I leave the help menu open sometimes, so I'm not, you know, you and I still ended up noticing not noticing when I want to do this. I don't know what is causing this. I need to figure that out. It's incredibly annoying. Uh, but yeah. Life in the sim simulator world. So I'm just going to park the baler. For now I can bring it out later. At some point. If it's worth baling the rest of the grass. But um, yeah, priority should be uh, probably should be planting while I'm still here. 
before I rotate to another farm. Not sure where the dog is. Oh, there he is. He always, he always runs over. Feed me, he says. Yeah. He just got fed a little while ago, so he's good. I'm just gonna park this under the shed. Wash it later. Got quite dirty. I guess that field's a little wet. I don't know. I'm new to that field, so I don't know if it's always like that or if uh, it was pretty wet uh, when I was in there. Going where I don't want him to go. Just straight. Switch to actually what I'm gonna do is no I'm still wants to do that. Okay. Uh I'll grab the truck and or actually I can drive the gator or whatever. But uh, yeah, I just want to get the planter. Now that I think about it, just do the planting now. Why is it still done the pickup object error? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, plus I want to fertilize as well. Yeah, you know, one thing at a time. I really like driving that uh, this spreader here. I think it's. I don't even know how to. It's Stare, I guess, is the brand. Or I don't know. I just discovered that thing pretty recently, and I'm uh, really enjoying it. Just a nice little, smaller, sized uh, fertilizer, or it's, you know, spray or fertilizer. Um, but it can do dry and liquid, which I really like. No point getting the truck since the planter's right down the road here. Yeah, I really do like driving the Axion, things a beast. And I'm just going to plant this field on the left there. I think I've got soil sample data now on that field. So don't have to go in there and do samples. Just go and start planting. This is kind of a little bit of a... Uh, test, if you will, uh, to see how it would perform on a hill. First, I know uh, you should not plant up and down the hill you want to plant, you know, what was originally across the slope back and forth, so but I was just curious uh, how this thing would, this beast of a machine would do uh, planting uphill and it uh, didn't even stutter, so this thing's an absolute tank. Uh, yeah, I don't want to throw it, that is really annoying. I don't know how to Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I can just imagine that new tractor smell in this cab. <laughs> that new cab smell. But yeah, alright, I gotta get turned around. I'm going to come back later and replant this uh, incompleted field. Like I said, it was more like a playing around and I was really impressed that this thing just 
<laughs> landed up uphill. It was pretty uh, pretty awesome machine. Okay. Just a really short trip. this field and I'll probably start on this side got to get the GPS loaded up uh, since I haven't planted in this field before um, but yeah we've got a uh, let's see yeah so all right I know what I'm gonna do okay am I on the yeah and I'm probably gonna do canola again just cuz uh, one of my favorite crops, and I also can make biodiesel out of it, so I want to have enough supply of that. Let's see, what is my... Always forget the command for that GPS. Oh, let's see. Okay, system's on. I want to get on the edge of that field there. There's our track guidance line. Sure, I start off right on the edge. If it generates the track for me, there we go. Okay. Seat is selected. Speed's good. Uh, it's my menu here. Okay. Axion. Let's see if it. We'll use that. Oh, okay. Nope. Hold on. Yes. Nope. No one's to start over there. All right. Um, hmm. Why does it want to start there? Interesting. I mean, I could just plant this manually. It's not that big of a field. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> I'll just plant it by manually. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, it wants to leave that edge there. I don't know why it wants to do that. Okay. So, let's see if our marker will work now. Marker. There we go. That's what it's for. I'll just go ahead and turn off that. That's distracting. All right. Hill again. <laughs> Not really, I mean, this isn't such a steep slope, so, except for this end up here. Oops, getting a little off track there. it up now. Hopefully this is center.
nice crooked line there. <laughs> oh, looks like we might be on the money there. Okay. Oops. I accidentally hired a worker. I needed to yeah, I keep hitting the wrong button there. Instead of cruise control like I mean to do. Okay, looks like bridge marker is working fine. Oh, of course. <laughs> Oops. One mistake after the other. It's not that big of a deal, pretty small field, all things considered, so, um, yeah, I don't know, I've, I've got, like, <laughs> base knowledge on a lot of the different mods, but I haven't dived deep into figure out how to get it to work the way I want it to, like the GPS and all that different things, so, it doesn't hurt to plant manual every once in a while. Oops, nope, no, no, no.
Looks like one more pass on that side. And then just the edges and we'll be good. I just had an idea, let me see. I'm going to do one full, almost full border uh, sweep there. Okay. Alright, let's just go for it. Man, I think that's a gradual turn, we'll see. <laughs> Knocked out my speed of hair. Oops. I'm gonna try and do this in one full loop here, see how it goes. Not make too tight of a turn. A little patch on the corner there. Not too bad. Usually I rely on GPS to help me plant, but I mean it's a pretty small field anyway. Now we're planting this section again. Now we're using some power. <laughs> Sweet. Right into the tree line. <laughs> well, that's planted right on. Not too bad. Yep. Don't throw this. I'm going to get in it. <laughs>
All right, right on. Accomplished. Luckily, there's this little strip of grass here along the side. Clean off the wheels. spot can't see around that there all right I'll go park this back at the uh, shop There's a train up there. <laughs> Alright. Mission accomplished for now. There he is. Yeah, not too dirty actually. Don't really need to spray this off right now. Check the map real quick. Yeah, so we've got uh, so just planted field eleven. Of course, you can see nitrogen is low there. Field seven is the hay field, uh, which is pretty depleted. So um, I'm gonna wait until the canola at least pops in field eleven and fertilize probably both of those at the same time. Uh, but yeah, gotta wait for the seed to pop. Um, this is how I want to do it and yeah then I'll be going over let's see yeah a couple more fields left to plant this one's grass down here but uh yeah a couple more fields to sample too so work in progress but I think uh that's good progress so um uh, oh closed door yeah I'm looking I'm watching <laughs> I hate that annoying conflict whatever's I don't want to throw it, I want to get in it. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, this thing's a beast. Love it. 
All right, maybe I'll go move some bales real quick. We'll just get them knocked off the trailer so that's freed up. Um, yeah. And of course, I do have the baler still attached too. Um, this can be like a <laughs> it can be like a rainy day project. At least got the field planted. Um, Go to park, yeah, park that uh, later, I guess. Yeah, cool. All right, well, I think I'll just conclude this video, and um, next time I'll be at a different farm, I think. Um, and yeah, cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.